Big Baby JTV. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's get it. Man, R. Kelly. R. Kelly part two, right? So for me, I saw a few videos. I did a bit of research. I just thought to myself, right? And I have a different angle to this R. Kelly situation, right? Like if you had checked my previous video, if y'all peeped that, I basically said that R. Kelly is not the only one to blame where the parents, where the managers, where the securities, all of that, all of that. I still stand by that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack this at a different angle. I'm going to tell y'all something that R. Kelly is being railroaded and scapegoated. All right. I'm not here to victim blame. I'm not here to be a a apologist for abusers or people who are perverts or pedophiles and all that stuff. Hell no. Hell no. I'm going to repeat this just to start it off for you haters who don't even listen, have ears. I want R. Kelly in jail. He is an abuser and a pedophile. He deserves to be in jail. But here's the but. They're going hard in the paint to make an example out of him to a level that is uneven and incorrect. I saw a meme on the Internet where saying that he lost his Illuminati bucks. That's why they're trying to get him out of here. They're getting, trying to get him out of the paint. If y'all go on Google and search up R. Kelly's net worth, it's going to say minus two million. OK, now I'm not going to go into the whole Illuminati thing. But I've always said the music industry is satanic. Okay? It's demonic, it's satanic, and I'm going to stand by that. I'm not capping, I'm not bullshitting. That's what I believe, and I stand by that. Now, let me make this very, very clear again. It is satanic. Okay? Is R. Kelly an anomaly? No, I think he's the average, bro. I think he's the average dude inside the music industry, bro. Listen, if you have some time, Google Disney Channel and pedophilia. Google that. Google that and just see where Google takes you, bro. There are people out there who work for the Disney company, Disney Network, who are on that disgusting ish. Okay? To a level where you're th you, you realize, oh, that's just the norm. That's just what they do in the industry. That's just what they do. Okay? Why are all these celebrity... Uh, uh, child stars always end up going on drugs. Why are they always having messed up futures? Orlando Brown. Why? Oh, we all know why. Because they have been abused as kids, and that's what happens to them in the future. Now, look. Here's another angle that I'm talking. We're talking about R. Kelly, right? We're talking about the music industry, right? We're talking about the greatest R&B male singer of all time, the king of R&B, right? We're talking about a guy who's been in this career for 30 plus years, right? We're talking about a guy, right, who lived in a city called Chicago, right, where countless crimes are swept under the rug, right? We're talking about a, a guy who was about 26, 27, who married a 15-year-old who that 15-year-old's mother was cool with it. She was okay with it. She was there for the marriage. Okay? We're talking about multiple underage girls who had parents who were getting paid for silence. Okay? Now, did they did they do some kind of coercion? Did they say, "Hey, you have to pay me some kind of blackmail?" Oh, you have to pay me X amount or I'm going to go to the press. Right? Yes, they did. Yes, they did. And yes, they did. I'm telling y'all right now. If you go deep in this rabbit hole, R. Kelly is the tip of the iceberg, man. There is a whole, whole cabal, a whole ecosystem of all this stuff. Right? And my last point here is this. Groupie culture. Okay? Okay. Groupie culture and teenagers, teenagers and groupie culture. Let me explain, bro. Let me explain deeply. Back in the day, in like about 2009, right? Lil Wayne had a concert in my city, Ottawa, right? Canada, nation's capital. And he had some, you know, some women come to his, uh, you know, back, back room of the show, his hotel, all that stuff, right? 
and he had sex with him he had sex with him right one of the girls he had sex with we learned a few days later was 16 years old bruh she went to a high school that was my rival high school we used to hate that high school immaculata and if you're from ot you know exactly about this bitch he had sex with her right Lil wayne was maybe 27 28 at that point right he had sex with her found out later that she lied about her age had a fake id shorty looked like she was 26 27 she was bodied up the makeup was at that next level shorty could have went into any club and they would have let her in okay go to any club in any poppin city they're going to let girls who look older and even though they're 16 they're 17 bro i remember 15 year old friends of mine who were females who would go to concerts and meet rappers who were females who would be in rap music video who were females who got into clubs bro i knew that now is it too much of a stretch to believe that some of these groupies were coming into r kelly's presence during his 30 year career bro now look i'm not saying that you know r kelly's an innocent guy i said at the beginning he should be in jail for some of these crimes but i'm saying some not all because there's going to be if somebody is actually a good investigator i wouldn't be surprised if a year two maybe three years from now they discover that some of these groupie girls wanted to be there it was consensual and the parents the key word the parents of these girls were actively prostituting their own children to r kelly and his team let me repeat that these parents were prostituting their little girls to r kelly and his team assistants managers security all of that all of that let me tell y'all something man would i let any man around my younger sisters hell no nah. hell no nah. would any logical parent keep even entertain little girl spending time with a grown-ass man hell no nah. hell no nah. unless it's a family member and some family members you ain't even want to do that you don't even want to do that okay so i'm saying that right now R. Kelly is being scapegoated and railroaded, bro. There are people out there who want him done and finished, mostly because his money is gone, mostly because they want to make an example out of him, and they are going to give him the book. And I predict that in a year or two, maybe three, they will find that a lot of his cases were BS, that a lot of these cases were BS, and there were liars, there were parents who were prostituting their kids. And hey, man, who knows what's going to happen, man. But y'all, let me know what y'all think in the comments below, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Am I right? Am I wrong? Big Baby JTV, bruh. And I'm out.